Yaho, 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 and welcome back to my channel, everybody. I am Super Yankee. In today's video, we are going to do a review of the movie Halloween Kills 2021. If you've never seen the Halloween series before, don't watch this movie. Do what I did today. Watch the first Halloween movie, which was made in 2007, and then the second Halloween movie, which was made in 2009, but only watched like the first 15 minutes of it, and then just cancel, stop. That's the perfect Halloween experience, in my opinion. And this is all dependable upon what your expectations are in a horror movie. There are three primary things that I personally did not like about this new movie that they created in the Halloween series. The injection of comedy into horror, the injection of politics into horror, and the fan service. I'm a fan of Halloween. I like Michael Myers. If he was in the closet and I was here, I'd be like, yo, Mike, come, come, come. It's, it's my time. But there was too much fan service, in my opinion, in the movie. Don't want to spoil anything, but there were just some scenes that just... Two, there was too much politics. Now, in the 2018 movie, I'm positive that the racial divide in the town was more centered towards one thing, but then they started introducing other races into the film, and they started just, like, creating storylines to, like, explain modern-day culture in a movie that was shot back in the 1970s. I don't really understand it. I don't get it, but that's what they did. I just feel like it wasn't necessary. Like, we didn't need to see that. You get brownie points for people that don't even want to watch the movie, but what about the people that want to watch the movie? So, like, the injection of politics wasn't really cool for me as a number one comedy. There were scenes in the movie that were designed to get the audience to laugh. And yes, I say audience, because today is the opening day for Halloween 2021. Humor was not something I was expecting or I, or I really wanted in the movie because, and this is for the people that haven't seen the Halloween series before, it's changing the narrative of what the movie was to reflect current day, like, culture, which is not really what I'm into because it's not a current day movie, it's an older movie. If you are, have been watching the Halloween series before, and of course, go see it, because it is something cool to see. Um, especially now. Especially in like the first couple weeks when it's out. Because lots of people are going to see the Halloween movie right now. Halloween is a series that has a lot of name recognition and brand recognition. So it's not like the other indie movies that are being created right now, being pushed out into the movie theaters. That no one really knows about, so no one's really going to see them. Yeah, so if you go to the theater, I went to the theater today, and it was completely packed, which was super duper ultra cool. So yeah, that's uh, that, that's that's my general outlook on what you should do if you want to see the movie, if you want to go out. If you're going to see it with friends, go see it with friends. I saw it alone, so maybe that's why I'm a lot more critical of the movie, because I didn't have anyone else to like be like, yo, oh, that was pretty cool, right? <laughs> I just saw it alone, and I was very critical because I had high expectations coming in. If I had to give the movie a rating for non-Halloween fans... It would probably be a 4 out of 10. And for Halloween fans, it would probably be a 5 out of 10. Anyway, everyone, that is the video for today. That's my review. Those are my opinions of the new Halloween movie. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Let's talk about it. I'm down. Throw down. My name is Super Genki. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.